How you feeling, man? I feel good. I feel real good. Uh, excited about being where I am. Excited about today. Um, I appreciate the privilege to share my heart. I definitely think that that's an honor. A lot of cats get to, um, you know, hopefully hear some encouraging words from the stuff that myself and my other brothers, Trip, Fish, uh, get to share with y'all, man. So. In terms of the UK, do you have anything specific? Was there anything laid on your heart when you were told you were coming over to the UK? Or Yeah, uh, I think uh, initially when I got the news, of course, uh, it was exciting that uh, I could get to travel abroad and share the, you know, the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, but I think in general, just from my last time here and then coming back now, um, I, I would hope that people would, uh, uh, just as a burden of my own, uh, would overcome different struggles um, that we may have when it comes to identity. Uh, I think from the age of five, maybe even um, um, a little bit older, uh, we all start to kind of wrestle with who we are. Uh, we try to form an identity based on who's around us, uh, what they do versus what we do, what we can do and what we can't do. Uh, and from that, we kind of let culture dictate and tell us who we are and what we're about. Uh, but for a, a moment, I'd hope people would take a, a brief pause and, and start to kind of consider who has God called me to be and based on that, who should I now kind of structure my life after? Um, and hopefully it's the person of Christ uh, and the work of Christ. Um, you have Christ who came to earth, lived life as a man perfectly, um, like we were called to live but didn't. Uh, nor couldn't and then uh, you had Christ come and, and do the ultimate sacrifice which was give his life up so that uh, men like uh, myself and those who watch this women who are out in the world who, who are sinful um, he gave his life up for us that we might uh, have new life in him uh, a right relationship with a holy God our creator and uh, kind of put things back in order of what we were always meant to do man was always meant to reflect God's glory on the earth and uh, to show how awesome and mighty this great creator was um, and we kind of robbed him of that and uh, we chose to do so and so Christ comes and he kind of lifts the veil in a sense and gives us access back to God uh, so ultimately we could get back to the true identity we were meant to have which was to reflect and to show the glory of God to all men and so uh, that was kind of my passion in my heart for coming man was to challenge everybody uh, to live like that um, and, to, and to move beyond just the lifestyle of where it's all about me, where it's um, today, God, I hope I don't sin. Today, God, I hope I don't mess up here. I hope you give me this. I hope you give me that. Uh, to move from that type of mentality to a, a view of life to where every day was meant to be lived for another. Um, and so uh, just like Christ, I want to be a servant. And so that's kind of the message I want to portray. Know who you are in Christ, ultimately to end up serving someone with the gospel. Who said we don't do it like them plain clothes?